Well, good evening again, everyone. It was another win or go home night for the Youngstown Phantoms at the Cavelli Center this evening. It's the second straight game the Phantoms have faced elimination. Last night, denying the Chicago Steel a sweep in the best of five series to cut that deficit to two games to one. Tonight, the Phantoms are looking to even the series and force a decisive game five next week. Let's head down to the Cavelli Center. There's Boomer, real excited for this one. There's Ivan Kulbikov, got the start last night, gets it tonight as well. Scoreless in the first, Phantoms on the attack. Around the boards we go, out to Michael Caro. Top of the point, lets off a wrist and it's tipped in front. Austin Poley gets credit for the goal. Youngstown gets the lead, one to nothing. Second period now, same score. Puck pinned on the far side, Cole Norris jumps off the bench. Grabs a hold of it, corrals it, winds, fires, and lights the lamp on the wrister. Phantoms double their lead to two to nothing. That would be all Ivan Kolbakov would need. Steel on the power play here. Kolbakov fights that one off. Then later, Steel on the rush. Nice passing here to the far side. Good shot on net, but Kolbakov closes the door. He stops 16 of the 18 shots he faced, and the Phantoms hold on for the win. They tie the series at two. A deciding game five on the horizon. We want to put pucks at the net, and it's not that we weren't in the first couple games. It was, you know, I, I thought our structure and our end was much better, you know, this weekend, and, and that's what's needed in the playoffs. I thought from top to bottom, everybody bought in, and we were good. We like a little drama, I guess. I don't know, but we're excited to be here, and we're just doing it one game at a time, and we're not done yet. So Tuesday, Tuesday's big for us. That's all we're thinking about right now. We know if we just stick to our game plan, we're going to be fine. Our motto all week was don't let us win one. Now we got two, so we're going back to Chicago, and anyone knows anything can happen in game five. And that game five will be Tuesday, 8.05 Eastern time in Chicago. Series tied at two games apiece. The winner will head on to the Eastern Conference Finals. The loser will sit out the rest of the summer.